Katanning is a large service centre for the northern areas of the great southern region of Western Australia. It's located about 300 kilometres southeast of Perth. There are several suggestions relating to the meaning of the town's name. One theory is that it originates from the Aboriginal word Kartanin, meaning big meeting place. Another states that the name is made up of the words Kart, meaning headman, and Anin, meaning meeting place. Another theory is that it was derived from an Aboriginal woman with the name of Kate Anning. And the last but probably most interesting theory is that it means spiders on your back. It appears, however, that the real meaning has been lost in time. The first Europeans to explore the area were a party led by James Stirling in 1835 on an expedition from Perth to Albany. Sandalwood cutters are known to have moved through the area in the 1870s but settlement didn't come until the development of the railway from Perth to Albany. The town first started to develop with the coming of the railway in 1889. Initially, it was a private town developed by the West Australian Land Company. The government purchased the railway and the town in 1896 and the town was formally gazetted in 1898. Katanning has the honour of being the first inland town to have streetlights and a public library and it was one of the first to have a public swimming pool. The town developed at a site where the railway from Perth eventually joined the section coming north from Albany. Frederick Peace had been following the railway using a specially constructed mobile store and now decided to build a permanent shop at a place where the rail lines met. Later Peace built the roller flour mill and farmers began to crop wheat in the area. The mill was eventually turned into a museum and then a later restoration project undertaken by Dome has turned the building into a 22-room hotel. Peace had a hand in the construction of many early buildings and as he also owned the local brickworks, he managed to do rather well out of it. He even donated 10,000 bricks to the construction of the imposing town hall, which was completed in 1896. Prior to the opening of the town hall, church services were held in the local hotel, known as Chippers. This obviously didn't go unnoticed, as it was even reported in the Sunday Bulletin. Locals breathed a sigh of relief when the town hall opened a couple of weeks after the story broke and services were moved to a more sober location. In 1897, a fire broke out in the hotel, burning it to the ground. The cause was thought to have been a lit candle catching curtains alight. A baby, left in the hotel by its mother while she was working over the road, was sadly killed in the fire. St Andrew's Church was opened by Mrs Peace in 1898, after her husband had donated 40,000 bricks. To house himself and his family, Peace constructed a seven-bedroom mansion called Cobelia in 1902. The building contained a billiard room, ballroom and had hot and cold running water. FC Peace may have had some old-fashioned ideas about people stationed in life and could be quite autocratic, but his love for Katanning and his tireless efforts to develop the town are what stand out most about his life. He died in 1912, and his funeral was a fitting tribute to someone who had given so much to the town over the years. Sometime later, a statue was erected to commemorate his life and his dedication to the establishment and betterment of the town. The Peace family were a large one and were to influence a number of areas, including Wajin and Peaceville, south of Narajin. A mosque was constructed by the newly arrived Islamic community in 1980, after they relocated from Christmas Island in 1974. The Katanning sale yards open each Wednesday starting at 8.30am. On average, one million sheep pass through here each year. That gives a pretty firm indication of the agricultural nature of the area. Earthquakes in the wheat belt tend to happen with some regularity, and on October the 10th, 2007, a quake occurred not far south of town. It was a magnitude 4.8, and was the biggest quake for 40 years. Mm -hmm.